Hello everybody, United did in is. I know it's been a really, really long time and I'll just get straight to it. I've been really lazy and I couldn't be bothered to make videos, but then again after watching this season there's so many thoughts I want to talk there's so many things I want to talk about. And I'll start off by saying now it's been a very inconsistent season. Uh, Moyes, David Moyes is surprising everybody in Europe because there's not much expected of him there and in the Premier League it's been a mix, it's, we've been on mixed form, so let's start talking. Um, at this start, David Moyes found it really, really hard to fit in because I still think he, he was still uh, free, thinking he was at Everton by making those negative substitutions and then negative style of play forced into United, but that's not how United play, and he's probably figured that out now. And everything seems fine, ta tactically, anyways. Um, our se season's been full of inconsistent form and the one star man, Wayne Rooney, who's been doing it all. What a master stroke that was by Moyes to at least keep him this season. Because if without him, I I'd honestly struggle to think how we'd be eighth at the moment. Yeah, he's been on terrific form and he is such a great player. Moyes looked uh, as seem to bought the best out of him and hope we can he continues that form for the whole season. Um what I'd like to say though is in in these last few games we thought we pick up form after the Norwich game, the Fulham game and the Arsenal game where we won. Against the Norwich it was in Capital One Cup we won 4 0. But Fulham, Premier League, we won 3 1. And then against Arsenal, the league leaders, we beat them at home 1 0 with Robin Van Persie scoring the goal. But after that, suddenly we seem to lose momentum. Well, not lose momentum, but basically, yeah. He dropped 2 2 against Cardiff. And then in midweek, beat. Leverkusen, 5-0. As you can see, a draw and a win. That's really confusing. And then we draw with Spurs as well. So it's just been inconsistent form. doesn't matter if it's in the Premier League or not. In the Champions League, as I said early on, David Moyes has seemed to not get it spot on, but he seems to, do, uh, seems to have done the right things with United and found the winning formula there. But in the Premier League, it's just not happening for some reason. And I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming the players. And some players are not performing up to the expectations. And I honestly feel Alex Ferguson has left him the best squad possible. But left him really, really weak in the midfield area. As you can see now, Carrick's out for four to six weeks. And we've been, de we've been dependent on Carrick to produce his best form again. Last season, he created his finest form and was the best midfielder, probably the best midfielder in the league, arguably. But this season, now that he's injured, we've got to change things up. And now I'm going to talk about the best lineup, in my opinion, so far. David De Gea in goal, obviously, this is without injuries. Rafael is right back. Um, Evans is going to a great player. Evans and Vidic are centre backs. Everett as the left back and to this two centre defensive mids. Here it might be controversial, obviously, because Fellaini is our most expensive signing this season. Well, our only free free signing. And we pay twenty seven point five million for Fellaini. Twenty seven point five. He was worth more than Robin Van Persie. Just let that sink in. And he's had no effect so far whatsoever. He feels his best position is as central central defensive mid, but I feel he could do a much better job there. He's not been performing, and he has to improve. Uh, for the moment, I'd go with Jones and Carrick because Fellaini and Carrick don't complement each other. They're both not really mobile and quick players, so if Jones and Carrick play, that's the our best uh, centre defensive mid partnership for the moment. Um, obviously, still lack creativity there, but that's for Moyes to deal with in January by signing two, at least two centre mids. On the right, I'd go with Nani 
because Valencia seems to be inconsistent. He plays. He played well against David Cousin, no doubt. But against Tottenham, he ran at Vertonghen and ripped him apart. But the crosses, he just couldn't get them in the box for some reason. So, I go with Nani. And then, through the middle, Wayne Rooney, obviously, he's been our best player so far. On the left, I'd go with Kagawa, but he's not really useful on the left. So, it, it had to be between Kagawa and Yanese. And obviously, David Moyes doesn't seem to trust Yanezay in big games. And that's a smart move because Yanezay is only 18. He's still got a lot to learn. So, he's not ready just yet. And then, up top, Robin Van Persie, obviously, the best striker in the room, One of the best strikers in the Premier League. He's been carrying a knock as well, so he's not been producing his best form. And I'd like to see him get back to last season's form, if he could do that. Obviously, there's a lot of factors that including creativity, which we ha- we seem to have none of this season. And there's a lot of things David Moyes needs to fix in January, but I am backing him to do that. Um, overall, I think we could... People say we're out of the title race, but it's too early to decide. We, we need to start picking up points now, and that's what's, what needs to happen. Not drawing games, not losing games. Just picking up three points game after game. Take one game at a time. Uh, Three points in the next game, the three points in the game after. And continue that for five or six games. And when we pick up that form, I think we'll be unbeatable. Unstoppable. But we need to rack these points up now because once we start facing the big teams again, we're going to struggle because... If David Moyes doesn't sign some players in January, our squad is really, really weak. Obviously, if Fellaini doesn't start performing, then he's just basically a useless signing. So, where we need to improve is the midfield, obviously. We're not out of the title race, but the 2-2 draw against Spurs, I thought we should have won that game. Obviously, we lose we lose the battle in midfield again. That's where the game is won and lost for me. And... That's just really gonna. That's what's gonna be. Uh, if we draw, uh, that's what's gonna be the main factor in drawing, losing, or winning games against Arsenal. We c- we control them with Carrick and uh, Jones in midfield, but Jones and Cleverly cannot do a job together. Cleverly is not performing, and he's not showing the potential that he has. After that ankle injury, he's not shown any signs of improvement whatsoever. Anderson, he looked a bit skinny against Everkusen. I played 20 minutes, I think. But that's not really a chance to show himself and show what he can do. He has the potential, but again, they've not been performing for United, so will they really, really get will they really get a chance? That's that's my worry. Um cleverly I feel if he's not performing, one thing we could do is send him out on loan. He's only twenty three, but who'd want him, honestly? It's just better selling him off and getting a new midfielder. Someone like Ander Herrera. Who would probably perform better than Cleverly? Anyways, um, I'll talk about some transfers in in a future video. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Leave me your thoughts below on United season so far, on the players and the stars of this season, and how you feel David Moyes has coped with uh, the pressure. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and yeah, welcome back to the channel.